Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 319, Bulb Switcher. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have an example. So here N represents number of bulbs, right? So initially, all my bulbs will be in off condition, right? And we need to toggle these bulbs in certain way. So first we will see how we are going to do that. And also we need to toggle these five bulbs in five rounds, right? So in the first round, I will toggle every bulb. So every bulb gets on, right? So here I'm representing zero as off and one as on right so in the second round we need to start toggling from the second bulb so the second bulb becomes zero and then from here i need to check the ne next second bulb which is four right i need to toggle that one as well so it gets off so from four there is no six right so we don't have to do anything. Then we just copy the rest of the bulbs. So next in the third round, I need to start from third bulb where I will off. Then from third bulb, I need to check the next third bulb. Six, right? There is no six here. So we can just leave and we can just copy the rest of the bulbs. Now same as we need to start from 4, so 4 is off here, so we need to on. And from 4, there is no 8, right? So we can just skip and copy the rest of the bulbs. So same, we can just copy rest of the bulbs and we can just toggle the fifth bulb alone, which becomes 0 here. So after five rounds, after the nth round, so we need to do it for the n bulbs and the n rounds, right? So after completing the nth round, we need to look for the number of on the bulbs. So here we have two bulbs on, right? So we need to return two. So I just explained this particular problem, how to solve this problem in order of n time. But there is more efficient way. That is what we are going to see in this video, which is constant time, right? So now we will see how we are going to do that. So here we are having n is equal to five and we have five rounds here, right? So I have ordered here from one to five so what we are going to check is we need to check how many factors are there in each and every number right so for one that is only one right then for two it is one and two then for three it is one and three then for four it's one two and four right these are the factors of four then for 5, it's 1 and 5. So now we need to see how many numbers are having odd number of factors. So here 1 as only one factor, right? That is odd. So I will count as 1. So for 2, there are even number of factors. So I won't consider this. Then for 3, again, we have even number of factors. We won't consider. Then for 4, we have odd number of factors, right? We will consider this and we will increase the count by one. So we will be getting two now. Then for five, we have even number of factors. We won't consider this. So finally, we will return two. So this two can be arrived using by taking the square root of the value n and round to the nearest integer. So if it takes square root of 5 will be getting 2 point something and we are going to round it to the nearest integer where I am going to get 2, right? 
so the time complexity will be order of one time so that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so basically we are just going to return by taking square root of m right that's all the code is now we will run the code thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys